What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, you guys will see here, MDT, why the hell do you have all these bags of accessories, and are we going to go through all of them? Absolutely not. I am not about to just dump all these out and go one by one through everything. If you guys want to see that video, you can let me know down below, man, but that is not something I want to do. I feel like it would. we'd probably be here for eternity, but I did want to make this video. I think we can go through one of these bags because I think it would be interesting to see. I feel like maybe the loose accessories bag, but... I just wanted to showcase this to showcase kind of how I like to keep my collection organized and kind of showcase how that goes about and, you know, how I store these things. Now, I will say I do have a ton of loose stuff. Like, this room is a nightmare right now. I do have to go through and completely clean out and, and organize some more for the room tour. For the collection videos, we are going to do a, you know, my big time end of the year loose WWE action figure collection video where I have the massive stack of figures and we go through one by one and I showcase every single figure. We're going to do that video. We're also going to probably do the same video for the AEW figure collection. I'll go through the mock and loose collection probably in one video maybe. Unless you guys want to see two separate videos. I don't know. Just let me know those things down below, man. I love the end of the year because we get, you know, so many different videos of top tens and fives and collection videos and things. And that's kind of where we are today. I kind of wanted to do this because I haven't done one of these videos where we take the bags of accessories and we talk about them. So this is the best way to organize your collection, man. Whatever you're organizing, especially with WWE and action figure accessories man ziploc bags they do fantastic wonders for your collection because all of our microphones that we get right here they go right inside this bag i have a million microphones anything like announce table related as far as headsets and mics and anything like that goes in this bag you guys can see all the different mics we have and stuff like that but because these accessories are so small and i have so many of these it just makes sense to put them in a in a ziploc bag and keep all the ziploc bags together and i, I can just kind of organize them that way so we have the microphone sort of bag right here over here this one's already overflowing we have the roman reigns fodder collection and this is all roman reigns vest head sculpts arms gauntlets even some legs and torsos down here these bags are just slap full man as you guys can see like look at this i have the ponytail head sculpts any extra roman reigns accessories go inside this bag and i know you're probably like why is it just roman reigns it's usually for characters that i have a lot of fodder of like i, ha I have a whole fodder box dedicated to only Seth Rollins figures, but uh, Roman Reigns has his own bag, John Cena has his own bag, Finn Balor has his own bag, Jeff Hardy has his own bag, so just take it, just just listen to me, man. If you guys don't have, I would also recommend like those stacked shelves things, and if, if you don't have this many accessories, if, but I'm just talking to the guys that do have this many accessories, right here is any interchangeable arms or heads from Ultimate Editions or Elites, so any interchangeable heads, man, they go right here any it, like elites ultimates does not matter you guys can see here we do have the ultimate Shawn michaels head you got uh the vest i think that came with ronda rousey for her ultimate edition you got the ultimate warrior Ro royal rumble elite so any interchangeable head sculpts that come with our figures they go inside this bag ultimates or not and uh that's i've kept up with that pretty good right there is this a jeff hardy head what are you doing okay it's the ultimate edition i thought that was the entrance crates i just saw the purple right there and i was like why is that in there but I, I mean, I guess I could put this in the, the Jeff Hardy bag, but I feel like it needs to go in the Ultimate bag. Anyways, speaking of Jeff Hardy, we do have the Jeff Hardy loose fodder here. This is a ton of Jeff Hardy heads. You have his arms and all those different things. Again, it's kind of like the freaking thrift store. You know, you go in the thrift store, you got all of your different baggies. I, I'm going to be honest with you, if I walked into a thrift store and I saw baggies full of different fodder of WWE action figures and heads and different things like that, I'd probably clean out the whole store, which is why I have this mess that I'm in right now. But next up, guys, on the list, we do have, like, necklaces. This is masks, hats. You guys can see the headset right there that came with, I think, Ty Tyson Kidd. You got some John Cena stuff in there. I try to keep all my dog tags with the John Cenas, but I also have a little mini bag inside of the bag. So a little double double doozy right there. And this is all of my sunglasses accessories that are not on display or being used. So I put all my sunglasses in this mini bag, and then I put the mini bag inside of the other bag to really give it that. So that's all my hat accessories, excluding ones that will probably go into my John Cena collection, which
which we will get into. Now, that's all hats and stuff like that. Maybe one day we can go through that again. I don't want to venture into that as I'm trying to save this scaffolding and it is crashing down and it's, oh my God, what is, what is happening? Jesus Christ in heaven above Betsy. Sorry you had to see that. But moving on forward, guys, we do have this one and this is my bag full of loose accessories and like random stuff, like all kinds of random stuff as you guys can see. Box of cereal, can of soda, milk, gingerbread cookies, armbands, like all kinds of random stuff. That's why I want to go through this one because I can't even, I, like there's so much stuff in here that's so random and wacky. I think you guys will get a kick out of that one. I'm going to put that one off to the side because I kind of want to go through that one a little bit over there. And uh, over here we do have my Finn Balor accessories, or not accessories, but fodder. So you got kick pads, arms, hands, shooter hands, Finn Balor heads, extras and stuff. So any guy that I have a ton of in the collection, that's usually why I have these bags full of accessories. Randy Orton would be there, but we don't get a ton of different options for Randy Orton, right? Like I, like I have a ton of his figures. I have a ton of Triple H's, but it's not the same as Jeff Hardy, Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, where you're switching arms and heads and all those different things. Same thing with the John Cena's here. This is dedicated to all John Cena fodder, so any John Cena hats or hats that I can make custom John Cena's out of go in here. Jeff, John Cena head sculpts, arms, arm bands, sometimes random t-shirts and stuff like that. You guys can see all the different hats in there. There's a ton of hats in there for future customs and dog tag chains right there, but you guys get the point. You get the whole idea there, but while we're here, I just wanted to get that out about the Ziploc bag, but I also want to dive into this and just kind of take a look right here so you guys can go with me. I don't think I'll go through the entire thing, but I did want to get in here and just look at some of these accessories that we got going on. So instead of Lucky Charms, we have Unlucky Charms. And I think we did a whole review on these. I don't even remember exactly what that video is called, but you got a little box of cereal. This is all 112 scale, so these scale perfectly with WWE figures. We also have a basketball accessory, which came with the Hall of Fame Ted DiBiase, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say that's the case, but basketball. We also have a Zit Cat, and this Zit Cat accessory is just freaking ridiculous. So it's basically a parody of different candy bars and cereals and stuff. So there's Zit Cat. We have a little, like, heart thing. Like, this is is where, dude, if you just go onto the Barbie doll aisle, I know if you're a boy or a teenager or a grown-ass man, you don't want to go in the Barbie section, man. But low-key, they have some fire accessories that you can use in your backstage setups and pick beds and details of your photography. So that's something to think about. Next up, we have our Retrofest Shawn Michaels, I think, entrance vest or something. I think that's what that is. Got the little zebra print on the front. We have a... I, I usually don't keep weapons in there. I don't know why these specific weapons are in there. I typically put those in a different drawer. Like, if you guys are wondering about weapons... I put those in a drawer. I have like a table drawer, a chair drawer, a ladder drawer, and then I put all the random weird weapons into a separate bin, which is usually where these go. I don't know how those snuck in there. We also have a random little soda bottle right here. Again, these little details bring your setups to life, man. If you have little detailed accessories like these, please plug them into your backstage area. They really make the difference. You got some handcuffs accessories. Got a little monitor right here that's got some ugly looking putty on the back. Jesus, I think I used that to stick that to a wall and it fell. You could put a little piece of green screen poster board on there to edit what's on it. We have a little hunt. I was going to say hunts ketchup, but we have Hertz pasty tomatoes. Very nice. A little can of tomato sauce. We have a fire extinguisher accessory. We have another little bin right there. Some headsets or headphones. I don't know why I said headset. Where's your headset? Undisputed Undisputed Era armband. We have the little thingy that came with Sergeant Slaughter. I can never remember the name of it. Have a little marker film director's claspy thing. I can't remember remember that it's like they say you know they go marker and then they go clap and it starts the scene you guys get the, I can't ever remember the name of these things either we have a chessboard slash checkerboard random but totally in scale again dude like there's so much stuff in here man so much stuff a box of tricks but it's actually ticks as you guys can see there are you team unlucky charms or team tick cereal in real life lucky charms with marshmallows blows tricks out of the water I'd say everybody can agree that tricks is pretty plain Jane let's Let's be real here. Let's not let's not fabricate things. We have a towel accessory. We have a little can of soda right here. Some of these come with WWE figures, but a lot of these don't. Like this mannequin head. A mannequin head. This this looks beautiful in like an office scenario or a locker room scenario. You know, you put the hat. You know, you can just take a random hat and throw it on there and it fits perfectly. And, you know, it just, again, brings out those details of the figure photography. Here we have the olives and the, the salamis and stuff and the crackers from the little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho AEW ringside exclusive figure. Say that six times fast. Have a little cane accessory right here. A little wine bottle. I don't think that came with a little bit of the bubbly, but it's a little wine bottle accessory. You can get little accessories like this at Hot
Hobby Lobby, but none like, you know, you get from these other companies. Got a little camcorder from the Elite Shield Dean Ambrose, I do believe. Another little mini Coke bottle. We have a little cooler accessory. We got a little wreath for Christmas season. We got ourselves, we got some Drew McIntyre gauntlets and a Zack Ryder woo woo woo, you know it, headband. Mugs full of bis soda. There's the Chris Jericho AEW bucket of ice accessory where you stick the bottles down in there. We have a mini baseball bat. A, a tray, more reefs, voice changer from Kane. I mean, dude, like, again, the list goes on. Oh, that's beautiful right there. A little spiked bat accessory. Love to see that. Again, man, you can really bring the setups to life. This is what it's all about. Just getting in here, finding random ass accessories. I mean, look at this. Look at Jax. Jax was always doing the good stuff, man. Knew that knife didn't go in there. But you have the pizza box right here, which is beautiful. I mean, it doesn't, like, fold up. You probably could, like, make it fold up, but Jax knew what they were doing, man. They gave us wacky stuff all the damn time. Oh, I found the I found the freaking pizza. Here's the loose pizza that goes in there. I mean, dude, how can you beat this stuff? Here's a flat pizza. So that's a lot better, honestly. It doesn't open up, but it, it looks a whole lot better. Like, if you had this out, and then maybe, you know, you could put that on there like this. That'd probably look a lot better, to be honest with you. But you guys get the point there. Random boxing glove. I mean, dude, what are we doing here? What What is happening? Bottle right here. But you guys get the point. You guys get the point, man. If you have these little mini accessories, what you want to do is put them in Ziploc bags and just kind of contain the thing so you don't lose them all over the place. If you take them out for a certain setup, put them back in the respective baggie unless you literally just have a setup the whole time. You know, how I have my, my GM's office and then I have my backstage area. Unless you're doing something like that, you need to go ahead and take your accessories, put them away, and then bring them back out once you're ready to use them. And the only way to keep up with them is to keep them in this bag. And sometimes you do have to just dump the whole bag out to find what you want, but then putting them back in the bag, very simple and easy. Again, another thing would be to get those stackable drawer type deals that go on like, you know, your office desk or something that have a little mini drawers for pens and pencils and paper clips and stuff. You can put them in that if you want to put them on your desk. But this is the only way to do it. You can even have a big pullout drawer and then have all these Ziploc bags in that drawer. So that way you don't have Ziploc baggies laying everywhere like MDT, like a freaking moron. But that pretty much wraps up what I wanted to cover in today's video, man. I just wanted to take a look into this bag. Kind of forgot about some of these accessories, to be honest with you. But they really bring the pick fed details to life. They really bring all your setups and figure photography to life as well. But let me know how you guys keep up with your accessories and stuff like that. I felt like this is pretty helpful tips. I also want to put one of these hats on this mannequin head so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you just take the mannequin head and you just stick the hat on there. Look how official. You guys remember when we made our concession stand or our little merch stand? Look how official that looks. How beautiful. But anyways, man, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys want me to go through every single accessory in these different bags let me know i don't i don't think you'd want me to but some people just like to have me playing but sometimes you know you just want to hear me talk and cut the shish but that's gonna wrap up today's video man thank you guys so very much for watching that's gonna wrap up today's video man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and don't cross the line like me when i freaking bought a box of tick cereal